Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be looking at Algorand, A-L-G-O. Let's go. Okay, welcome back. Looking at Algorand here, one of the first coins I ever bought. I am a pretty big fan of this project, actually. Um... I am not a big fan of their price action. <laughs> so I, I think Algorand is a fantastic project. I think they're doing great things. I think they've got wonderful partnerships and I cannot figure out for the life of me why the price sucks so bad. <laughs> so um, we're going to take a peek here. Uh, I actually have just kind of briefly looked at this chart. So we're going to wing it. Uh, I kind of like winging it. So um, that's what we're going to do. So... I want to start us out on the monthly. I usually don't do the monthly on my charting videos, but uh, since we're winging it here, we're going to start way up high on the higher time frames. And I just put a Fibonacci out here from the very bottom to the top. This bottom was back March 1st of 2020. So that's the, that's the Rona crash. And this top here was in November 1st of 2021, which brought us all the way up to four dollars and we got rejected there and um november 1st of 2021 yeah so that was even that went up there when was the uh crash from bitcoin back in may may of 2021 so this was actually after the crash in may for bitcoin anyway um this price action is just it's kind of mind-boggling to me really uh like i said i love the project i just cannot figure out their price action so the good news on the monthly is is we're, we didn't even get into over um sold area down here and we're starting to curl up a little bit on the rsi i'd love to see a cross on the monthly um crossing this yellow line the ma um we don't have any it's it, the red on the braid filter is going down the volume is declining um, and I think I did a quick update on Algorand in one of my first videos or one of my live streams, even, uh, probably my first live stream I did. I think I did a update on Algorand. That was about a month ago. And I said that Algorand was not looking good. And I think I said that right around this candle. Well, this is the monthly chart. So it would have been, if it was a month ago, right here. And we were probably, and we were probably right around retesting this 618 at that point and then we came down and at that point from when i said that algorand wasn't looking good and i'm pretty sure we were retesting the 618 i mean we dropped another 27 percent so i mean these candles they don't look like much because these are the monthly candles but that's a pretty big move but we are coming back up now and we're about to retest it again and the price action on the lower time frame seemed to look a little bit better um what i can't figure out is why, why are we finding support at 28 cents? That's just weird to me. So, I mean, I'm looking across here on the monthly and I see, you know, possible support there. We had a touch right here, touch here, here. We had resistance, 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 resistance. I mean, there's lots of action going on right at 28. Well, okay. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, I guess, I guess maybe, you know, I mean, that line could actually be down a little bit more to get the bodies of the candles over here and then the wicks. And I guess maybe that's where we're getting it. I just, the bodies are up here. So if you move this up and you, there's nothing, absolutely nothing here. So anyway, maybe the wick came down over here, this wick, and it touched it and that was good enough. I'm not sure. Let's go down a little bit to the weekly and see what's going on there. And on the weekly, so these Fibonacci's, um, as you can see, found support here, broke through, retested, came back down, found support at this Fibonacci line, could not get any higher, broke through, didn't even retest, uh, broke through here on this, this is the 618, I believe. Yep. And we retested it once, retested it twice, and it looks like we're about to retest it again. And 
you can kind of see, I bet you on the lower time frame on the daily, this is a W pattern probably forming here. You can see the braid filters dropping and we're starting to get a gray uh, filter here, which is good, but we also have some decent volume coming in. Uh, we still have three days, 19 hours. So basically four, four days to go on this weekly time frame. And so we're getting some okay volume coming in compared to previous volume. Um, and we also have the gray on the braid filter, which means that the momentum's still not quite there, but hopefully the next week we can get a green there, which would be good. Uh, the RSI has broken above the MA, came back down to retest it, retested it a second time, and that's why now we've got this big uh, candle here on the weekly, which is good. And uh, really, we need to get back above. If you're a bullish on Algorand, you need to get back above the 618, which by that point, you're going to be testing the 20 EMA here. And then hopefully you don't get too rejected off of it. Um, maybe you can break right through, find some support up here again, and then keep moving up. Uh, honestly, this chart still just looks bearish to me. Uh, I don't see too much to be excited about in the near future. Um, I see a lot of resistance <laughs> is all I see. So I see a lot of resistance at the 20 EMA, at the 618 uh, Fibonacci, at the 0.5 Fibonacci, at the, I believe this is the 100 EMA. Uh, and then you've got the support and resi I mean, resistance up here at 80 cents, right here at, you know, 67 cents. There is just resistance everywhere. So it's going to take quite a bit, I believe, for Algorand to, to move up. Now, I do know that Algorand is, is partnering with a lot of different things right now. And so maybe it'll just take one good partnership. Maybe the bull market or the bear market will actually start to turn around here, which will be good. I'm not really sure. I can't predict the future. But we do have some decent price action going on here. We've got some bullish, uh, bullish candle. That's a bullish engulfing candle right there uh, on the... Uh, weekly, which is great. So, I mean, I do expect us to come back and at least retest the 618 here at around 39 cents. Let's go down to the daily and just see if that is a W pattern. Eh, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't think so. Um, I don't think, I think this is just trading sideways. Boy, you could have been making some really good money if you've been trading Algorand because this is just in some kind of a channel here. You know, you buy down here, you sell up here. You buy down here, you sell up here and so forth. I uh, could have been making some good money. So on the daily, we did finally break above the 20. So we've had some attempts and it keeps getting rejected. Now we're heading for the 100 which is around 36 cents. And then we've got to get back up to 39 cents at the 618. We got plenty of room to run on the RSI, which is great. And it's making good um, positive momentum here. On the braid filter, another good sign is on the daily, we've got three bullish braid filter histograms. So you got this one starting the momentum, then you got a larger one and it keeps growing. So I do really expect us to get up to this uh, 39 cent at least to test that. On the lower time frame, um, Fibonacci here. Yeah, see, we've broken above the 618, which is great. And the 786 is right at that 100 EMA. So if we can just break above that, possibly find support or just break right through and get all the way back up, then we can retest back up here. Um, I don't see any divergences going on on the daily, which is great. And then let me take a look just at the four hour really quick since we're winging it here. Uh, so the four hour is great, actually. So, well, we might possibly have a bearish divergence forming, but we'll take a look at that in a second. We did finally break above the 200 on the four hour. We came back down and retested it nicely. And after the retest of this 200, we broke back up again. Now, the problem I'm seeing here right now on the four hour is we've got momentum moving to the upside. Let me change this color here. We've got momentum moving to the upside, so we've got a higher high, which is good. But on the RSI, unless this thing, we still have two hours and 46 uh, minutes to go. So this isn't confirmed yet, but we do have some bearish divergence forming on the four hour. Possibly this could go higher uh, in the next four hours and create a higher high on the RSI, which would invalidate that. Um, but uh, as of right now, we do have some bearish divergence forming on the four hour, which if we go down to the one hour now, let's see if it's actually confirmed on the one hour. Um, yeah, so, okay. So we've got a higher high forming right here. So your highs right here, then you got your higher high, but on the one hour, you've got lower highs 
on the uh, RSI down here. So and the braid filter seems to be falling. So if anything, I do see some kind of rejection coming here shortly. Uh, whether we come back up to get this 35, 36 cent level, then come back down, which actually might invalidate this. Um, but I do see possibly coming back down to a retest, maybe, you know, this area right here around 33 cents, uh, get a retest there and then continue moving, which would be fine. But it does look like we're losing momentum on the, um, one hour time frame and the four hour time frame. So that's just short term moves coming up. Now, one thing I want to look at. Uh, speaking of momentum here is I want to look at let's go from here to here so we hit the 382 and we didn't even come down to the 0.5 so that's good we kept that momentum going then from here to here we broke and we held the 786 basically but we did have a wick come all the way back down to the one but I do believe that was probably around the Fed meeting so you can kind of say that's really not anything so the next point you're going to be looking at here uh, on the short term, I'm on the one hour, remember, so this is going to be in the next few hours, is you're probably going to see a retest come of the 382. I'm actually going to guess it's going to come down to the 618 because we are losing momentum. So since we're losing momentum, uh, unless this thing continues and breaks above this, which it can still, there's still plenty of time for that. But as of right now, if this is the uh, local top, I do expect us to come back down to possibly the 618, which would also probably line up with the 100 EMA right here as well, because we are losing momentum. Um, this is a nice candle forming here on the one hour here. We still have 44 minutes to go, but also, I mean, maybe a bull flag is forming on the one hour, which, you know, in that case, maybe that gets us a little bit higher and it invalidates all these divergences here. That's possible too. But it's kind of what I see for Algorand. Uh, the price action for Algorand has been very strange to me. Um, I'm not really sure. It's just strange to me. Uh, the project is so good. I expected in the last bull market that we were going to get to maybe around 8 or $9, maybe 10 And we didn't reach that point. Uh, it just was kind of weak price price action, honestly. So, I don't know. Keep your eye on it. Right now, it, it in my opinion, it's a decent time to, to accumulate. Um, I mean, if I was buying into Algorand, uh, probably the best time to accumulate would have been obviously around the $0.28 cent level. But you're only you know, six cents above that right now. So right. And your RSI is starting to curl up on the, on the weekly time frame, and it's starting to curl up on the monthly time frame. So, I mean, also you haven't, there's still a possibility to come down to the seven, eight, six, which is around 21 cents, 20 to 21 cents. If it cannot get above the six, one, eight here, then yeah, you're most likely going to come back down and retest the seven, eight, six, which is actually where you got some really good support coming in. I mean, you've got multiple touch points of support here in the past on the monthly. So that's very strong support. And uh, so, yeah, if it can't break above the 618, expect it to come back down to the 786. And if it does come back down to the 786, that might be your most opportune buying time for this coin. Getting Algorand back at like 20 cents. I think I was buying Algorand, uh, yeah, probably around 20 to 25 cents. I think I was buying it back here. Uh, nope, it would have been right around here is when I was buying it and then ride it all the way up here. But I mean, this is your next opportunity is if it came down here, this is your buy zone. Uh, if you break above the 618, wait for the retest and that could be your next buy zone. And that would mean that the momentum is possibly shifting to the upside. Anyway, that's what I got for Algorand. Just a quick update. If you got any coins or anything that you want me to chart or look at, go ahead and leave it in the comments or, uh, you know, just message me on Twitter or something, comment on, on my Twitter stuff and, and uh, I'll take a look at it, make a video possibly. Um, that's all I got. Again, not a financial advisor, just a dude on his computer. Talk to you later.